what's going on you guys Whoa. welcome back to the channel so in today's vlog we finally got a install going on sorry it's been a little bit since i was able to do this install but we are going to be installing some afe power sway bars you guys definitely it's going to be helping out with the stiffness of the suspension it's going to be pretty cool i always wanted to have some sway bars on the lexus when we had it but i never got around to it my boy johnny said that there definitely is a big difference obviously there would be a bigger difference if we had coilovers but he runs bags on his 370 and he said that there still is a pretty nice difference so definitely excited to kind of test that out once we're done i got everything laid out right here i took one out and i wanted to kind of show you guys the packaging that they kind of have it in and then what it looks like without it so obviously their colors are like blue and stuff and that's okay obviously it's going to be under the car you're not going to be able to see the color of the sway bars but very nice packaging they have pretty nice detailed instructions and then you got nice packaging right here they you kind of tie it up and then they have a nice cushion right here as well and then you got the logo afe control right here so if i'm not mistaken i believe that they have different settings on here and it goes from softest to stiffer over here now they do recommend for street use on our cars they want you to have the stiffest setting and then in the rear they want you to have the softest setting and they say that that is the best for street use so definitely we're going to kind of go with what they recommend and see how that feels and if we like it we'll just kind of keep it like that um but we are tackling this without timmy um timmy is super busy this weekend it's currently about to be thanksgiving weekend so everyone's having like their early thanksgiving so definitely have so much to be thankful for thankful for our relationship and our new sponsorship with AFE power everything that's been going on this past year with the GR86 and everybody I've been able to kind of network and meet and just you know all just all that stuff like I'm super grateful for make sure you guys spend some time with the people that you guys love whether it's friends a loved one or family make sure that you let them know that you guys are grateful to still have them around just sometimes you know you never know so anyways Let's move forward with unpackaging everything. I already have the front lifted up. I wanted to tackle the front first because you gotta have to take down a lot more in the front than you have to take down in the rear. So I figured let's start off with the hardest stuff first. Normally when I tackle stuff by myself, uh, it takes a little bit longer than what I want it to take, so. All right guys, so here's everything that's like outside of the bag. These are gonna be for the rears. Here's your bushings for the front, and then here's your bushings for the rear, and then you got your lube for your bushings as well. I wanted to kind of uh, close in on this and kind of show you guys. So this is what I was talking about. Here's like your softer setting. Here's the more stiffer setting. This is the front sway bar, and then this is the rear. Obviously you can kind of tell because the front is a little bit more thicker than the rear, and I believe I don't know what the OEM one is, but I believe the front is 25 millimeters. And if I'm not saying it correctly, you guys can go ahead and roast me in the comments. But this is about 25 millimeters and this is about 19. So definitely I'm pretty sure it's a big difference compared to like the OEM. But I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little bit more of a close up on like, you know, the settings and everything like that. So it looks like the rear has one more setting. Uh, than the front does uh, but like I said we're just gonna go ahead and go with what's recommended and like I said they actually have pretty good like detailed like instructions I want to say I've looked through a lot of different companies that have instructions and a lot of the times it's kind of confusing it's almost like why do I need the instructions because I can't understand them but they do a pretty good job should be easy at least I hope so let's go ahead and get under the car and get started so now that we're under the car first things first we got to take off this cover right here so take off all the pins and all the bolts and then we also got to have to take off uh, this as well so that way we can expose this area which is basically holding the front sway bar so let's go ahead and do that all right guys so now that we got the covers removed you can see the front strut bar right here so it's connected to these frames right here so we actually are going to have to take off these frames and it should come out in full so it's going to come out with these two frames right here so we got to hit these bolts right here they're about 14s and uh, after that, we take it out, we go line it up with the other one, and then we have to put it exactly how this one is. Alright guys, so got to the part where we're literally about to take off the sway bar, and uh, a couple things. So, 
the end of the sway bar is connected to this arm right here so definitely make sure you guys take off that bolt it's about 17 and then there's a hidden bolt right here so they want you to take off this long cover dude and to be honest I didn't feel like doing that so I kind of just pulled it down and there's this last hidden bolt right here it's a 14 that's kind of what you need to take off this along with the sway bar so I still got to do the other side of it but I figured I kind of throw that in there just so you guys kind of knew so we finally were able to get the front sway bar out and like I told you guys it's gonna come out on the actual you know little frame assembly here um, so right now there's like a 12 millimeter bolt that we got to take off right here and then I believe there's another one right here right behind it that's a 14 we're gonna take those off and then you want to make sure that you're you're putting it in the same orientation as the original ones the exact same way that this is right here we are going to have this exactly like it kind of like so just like this this is exactly how it's gonna go on all right so let's go ahead take this old one off and put the new one on don't forget when you're putting the bushings on they want you to put the ring going this way and they want you to touch the ring with this way because on this side there's no ring but when you look on this side there's a ring right there so i want you to match that up with the ring that's on the sway bar and like i said it'll be a lot easier once you put the lube on there as well <laughs> All right, you guys, we got the new one on and everything's bolted down. I just wanted to kind of show you guys like a difference in terms of sizing. Look how thick this one is compared to the OEM, dude. Like, it's like a really, really big difference in terms of size. This is like one of those moments, the guy, she told you not to worry about and then there's you, you know what I mean? <laughs> but for sure as you guys can see it's gonna make a big difference let's go ahead and throw it on alright you guys so I already started you know kind of putting back the covers on because I was kind of almost finished but as you can see everything is back on you might have to like kind of wiggle this in so as you guys can see this is the softest mode and then here is the stiffer setting so definitely like I said we're going with the stiffer setting in the front and then we're gonna go with the softer setting in the rear as you can see we got it all in there and uh, I think I'm gonna have to need to get a new one of these because as I was tightening this one down when I got to the end of the thread this little part kind of kept spinning and it's not like completely like super super tight I mean it's like tight you know what I mean but you know just a little questionable when I was trying to really get it tight but anyways yeah we got it all done now let's go and head to the back. Whew, okay, so got the rear jacked up, you guys. We're losing a little bit of sunlight, but the rear definitely is a lot quicker than the front, and that's why I wanted to start on the front, because I knew there was just gonna be a bunch of covers we needed to take off and a bunch of other stuff. So um, this is gonna be a little bit more easier. As you can see, as soon as you get down here, boom, sway bar is like literally right there. So. We're going to have to take off this bolt right here that has the end link and then we'll have to take off uh, this bolt right here and to be honest that's like basically it like this one this one and I think maybe even this one maybe not dude I think just maybe this one and then we can lift that up so uh, and then we'll do the same to the other side so like I said this one is like so much faster than the front so let's go ahead and take these bolts off all right you guys i'm not gonna lie to you i slightly ran into like some trouble but i placed it exactly how it's supposed to go so technically when you get it it's supposed to go like this inside the car right now i kind of have everything lined up how it's supposed to go we're gonna have to get these right and we're gonna have to extend this basically to the same length as this and you kind of do that with this bolt right here and then we should be solid honestly so let's go ahead i'll put everything on and then install it okay another little bit of struggle <laughs> <laughs> the struggle I had right here was basically these end links because I have 
aftermarket lower control arms I'm not too sure if it's going to work because I can see that these have like different kinds of bushings but I should still be fine I checked if the um, bolt that we had taken off uh, which is right there which is the uh, bolt that connects the lower control arm to the end link it fits it goes right through what they want you to do in the instructions is they want you to make sure that the length that you have here you match it up with this right here and like I said that's what you're gonna be doing with this bolt right here you're gonna extend it to the same length as this so definitely don't forget that that's a very important part we have full stiff in the front and then we have softest in the rear we ended up putting the lube on to the rubber bushings and then I actually ended up putting some lube on the ends of here as well to make it easier to get it inside of the lower control arm. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on and let's see how it looks. All right guys, so it was <laughs> it was a little tricky, but it's not like I'm like super, super educated on like every little single thing that I'm doing. So I'm like just figuring it out as I go. But I would like to say, <sighs> That we finally got it on. So, really quickly, the tricky part was, for one, getting it back in here, dude. Like, that was so freaking tricky. Like, I basically had to, like, hammer it back down. This is gonna be a little confusing. But, if you see these right here, so they have to align perfectly so that way you can fit the bolt in. I had to drop it down have it come through this little hole like in a weird way or like kind of diagonally and then I basically had to kind of level it out as much as I possibly can like this and then I had to get a hammer and kind of just push this area right here and kind of like get it to be straight straight enough at least to where I can fit the bolt in hammer the bolt in and it'll straighten it out that was the most difficult part I want to say and then just making sure that this is clearing uh, that this is not hitting on my airbag line and everything like that um, I did have it upside down when I first threw it in I got kind of confused so this actually was upside down so just uh, for future reference for anyone watching this this needs to be like readable like it's the letters can't be upside down that's how you know you don't have it the correct way but anyways I believe it's probably like around I don't know maybe like four o'clock now so that took me like a good two hours and then the front took me like a good like four hours uh, anyways I'm actually I feel very very like proud of myself and successful because I didn't need no one's help normally I would need somebody's help and I didn't even know one's help this time around but if you're like handling this yourself hopefully this video kind of helps you guys like understand it so you don't take as long as I did but definitely you can do this by yourself if you guys are a little bit more knowledgeable it might be a little bit more faster I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the car down and then I'm gonna go and take it for a little cruise and just kind of see how it feels see if there's a little bit of a difference and then I'll give you guys an update on that as well so it's dark right now so that's why I have the light on in the car but I came to this like area where I live where there's like kind of these windy back roads to kind of test out the stiffness of it um, I will say I do feel a slight difference uh, in the steering now I'm taking these turns at like a good 60 miles per hour and I do feel like a more of a tightness taking these corners so that is one difference that I can say oh that was pretty tight oh that was good though Ooh. <laughs> so I can say that I do feel somewhat of a slight difference in terms of like OEM sway bars nothing like super super crazy or anything like that um, but definitely within like the steering wheel when I take like a corner or definitely the setup that we have it's for the street uh, we got the max stiffness in the front and then we have the softest in the rear and we're back home I'm pretty sure maybe if we were to mess with the settings a little bit too like obviously this is the recommended street setting maybe if we were to go a little bit more stiffer in the rear especially it being a rear wheel drive car we might feel a little bit more of a difference like i said i definitely do feel a little bit stiffer especially like when i was like just kind of like turning uh making like turns out of light 
I can feel the steering wheel being a little bit more like stiff, which I like, you know, I like that feeling. Definitely if you guys like go to the track or something, it's probably a really good upgrade. Or if you guys do a lot of canyon runs, for sure, probably a really good upgrade as well. So I just want to give a really big shout out to AFE Power for sponsoring this video and also sponsoring these parts. They're a really dope brand. If you guys haven't checked out the vlog where they give me a tour, we pick up the parts and everything like that, definitely go ahead and check that out. It's really, really cool. If they're like local located here in Southern California and they do a bunch of dope stuff um, and I also want to give a big shout out to Johnny for actually making the sponsorship happen so thank you man big shout out to you moving forward uh, we got a bunch of other stuff coming up we got a couple more installs before the end of this year and then a couple more events um, I am gassed out from events you guys I'm like so gassed out like I'm literally just kind of going to like hang out and chill not really to like compete or anything like that but definitely want to go and support the events that we're showing up to as well as just kind of hang out and see some of you guys and see some of my friends, you know? But when we come back, I definitely want to hit up the RTV in this car because we're currently at 35,000 miles and I've never addressed that issue on our car. I just want to take down the oil pan and, you know, take care of that before something really bad happens, like our engine blows up and then we really have to do an engine swap after that. So, um, anyways, if you guys haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, please do so. We just passed 3,000 subscribers, you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting. I felt like we were at like 2,500 or like in the 2,000s for quite some time, you guys. So March 2024 is basically when uh, we hit our anniversary and will be official four years going strong, you guys. So definitely thank you guys so much for you, those of you guys that have been supporting and those of you guys that just hopped on. Thank you guys. And if you're watching right now and this is your first time watching, maybe you guys want to hop on. And if not, hey, I'm going to get you one day. You're going to pop up on one of my videos. You're going to be like, oh, I watched one of his videos. It might be a really good one. But regardless, I'm going to get you. Anyways, that's all I got for this episode, you guys. Make sure you guys live long and prosper. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.